Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do a video share of a um, birthday challenge that Eileen Payne is having on her YouTube and Instagram channels. Um, I am very late to the game, so her challenge is unfortunately um, over, but I still wanted to support her and wish her a happy birthday. And so here, I just wanted to do a, um, a short video share of what I'm going to be sending her. So I decorated this 8x8 pizza box. This is in the craft color. I have white and craft, so I bought like 100 of each color <laughs> way, uh, like many years ago, and so um, I need to use them. So... I um, decorated this. I know Eileen's um, favorite color is purple from what I can gather from her videos. Um, I met Eileen through a um, group called PHA Crafters and through that group um, Jenny Crafty Hilo Girl introduced me to come over and so I've been it's really been helping me um, connect with some crafters and to get my mojo back because I definitely lost it during this pandemic so I'm kind of happy that I can craft here and there so I entered a few challenge giveaways and so here is I think this is my last one that I have committed to okay so I decorated the pizza box so I used a um, paper pad and I can't remember what the paper is I just I have so much paper that I just kind of went through and looked for some purple hues and so I did this on the front and this is just a cut apart card I backed it on some gold shiny paper um, that I got from Monty's store and this is a rosette I made this is just some netting I had in my stash that I got from Ali and here is a bottle cap charm that I made or bottle cap topper thing that I made okay and I put paper all around the edges it's kind of fat because everything's in there okay so I did in the back too and I just did the paper strip um, words here because I think this was a scrapbooking page so in the the corners had the um, flowers spray the flowers and the middle was all blank okay so when you open it up I used from the same paper pad but I used a different um, paper design so this is what was um, another paper that I used from the pad this is a cut apart. I also backed it in a gold paper. Okay. And so I just lined the whole inside of the box. So in here are some handmade goodies that I had made. Um, and I some of them I had made um, earlier in the year or maybe some even last year. And I just kept making so I could collect them and use them to put in um, instances such as this. Okay. So that is what it's going to kind of look like. Um, it's missing my card on the top. But that is what I'm going to send Eileen so outside of this box I'll have some extra goodies um, because they won't fit in this box so she can share them with you okay so let's take some things out so first off I'm going to share with you my memory decks card so her challenge was to make her a memory decks card of any theme and so this is my memory decks card and so I just put it in this um, plastic sleeve that I have that holds my dies so here is my memory decks card and so here it's I cut it out of acetate and I sewed it and there are some shaker bits in here but you can't really see it because they're hiding but you can kind of see them back here where I put my information okay so I got my B's my letter B's and I spelled out happy birthday and so I put it on here this is some crepe paper ruffled up this is a yarn um, Kind of like a tassel but on a um, straw with some pom-poms at the end and I'll try to find I saw this on Instagram some of the girls were doing these as embellishments and so I kind of um, copied that okay so you can kind of see it there and then this is a flower that I made using my punches and it was inspired by um, creating for fun and these are some sequins that I had made um, Anna from Serenity Creations had a tutorial on it and I did a video share of how I made mines and here's another take on that flower but this is just um, the inside of the flower the daisy part and then this one kind of has more pieces to it layers okay and then there's my beads that I strung on a wire and I have two purple dangles here and the happy I tucked in here 
Okay, so it's just sewn all the way around and I don't have anything else um, that's personal but she just wanted some information um, about ourselves on the back. Okay, so that is my memory decks card. Very simple and I hope she likes it. Okay, and then just to go some little um, things that I had handmade. I made this rosette and I will link, gosh I can't even remember who taught us how but there is a great tutorial on YouTube and oh gosh I should have wrote it down but she teaches us how to make um, these layered crepe paper rosettes and I had to watch it about five times and I finally got the hang of it and I will link her tutorial below I'm so sorry I just can't remember uh, where I saw it from but um, she teaches us how to do these rosettes by uh, folding it you can sew it but I just folded it I glued the center and it came out really I'm so happy that it came out okay so you, I left a lot of my embellishments blank so Eileen could um, glitter it up or whatever she wanted to do with it when whatever project that she uses it for so this is some netting that I gave her that I used on the box and just some little um, little trinket things on the bottom in the bag okay I made these um, loopy flowers and this there's tutorials out there on YouTube but Anna from Serenity Creations inspired me to do these okay so they're just felt and then these are pom-pom in the middle so I kind of grabbed the ones with purple in it in my stash so this one has a fuzzy purple ball and here's a yellow and I figured oh, it kind of draws from some of the colors that were in this paper pad Okay, and then this one is some dangles that I made, and I also share this on my YouTube. Um, I shared a YouTube video about how to make some bottoms. So these are hearts, heart wire wrapped, and I put the beads in and I put the top here. So she can add it to anything that she wants to. Okay, so these are two dangles that I made that I'm going to give her. These I made, I'm really into crochet now, I've been crocheting a lot, so I'm going to come back and do another share of my crochet projects, but, um, and I think Anna from Serenity Creations made, and Nat put some bling on it, they were making these roses, and got me inspired, and um, I was talking to my friend Jennifer, um, and she made some of these for me the other year, but I tried it again, and I'm so happy that it came out. Okay, so this is a purple and a little white one. So, I mean, you can put a bling in the middle if you want to. I left it plain. Okay. This is a crochet scrubby. Now, I did not make this one. Um, this is made out of that um, scratchy yarn. And it's just a square. And you can use it to wash your dishes or scrub your stamps or whatever you want to use it for. But I got it at a fair. Okay, and last but not least in this box are these flowers. So these are uh, loopy flowers as well. And I believe either Natalie or Seren I saw it on Anna's channel, Serenity Creations, when they made these. I have diamond dust on the top. Okay, and these are the um, flowers from uh, Creating for Fun. Okay, so it kind of has the purple hues in it. And that's it in this box. And I have some crinkle paper and I cover it. As you can see, I covered the rest of the box in the same paper. Okay, so that is my video share of my birthday um, chat, my birthday, I guess, giveaway challenge that I am going to send to Eileen, although it is after the fact, but I'm so happy that I finished it. And I hope you enjoy everything that I had made for you and um, got to share some of my stashes with you. So thank you everyone and I will see you all really soon. Bye!